In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 1 from experience 2. Based on the frequency distribution above, find the relative frequency for the class with the lower class limit 35. First, we'll find the class mentioned in the directions. This is the bottom row. Since the class goes from 35 to 38, 35 is the lower class limit. The frequency for this class is 4. To find the relative frequency, we must total the frequencies to find the total number of individuals. This can be done with a spreadsheet. Just copy and paste the values. Guess not. All right, we will then just type the values in. We need the frequency column seven, four, three, nine, eight, four. To find the total, we do the equals sum sum command. Select the frequencies and then hit enter. So there's a total of 35 individuals. Now, to find the relative frequencies, we take each frequency and divide by the sample size, in this case, 35. All right, we can then copy that down and get relative frequencies for each of these. Notice that if you sum up the relative frequencies, you of course get 1, since relative frequencies are akin to percentages. Now, remember, we wanted the relative frequency from the class with the lower class limit of 35, which was the bottom one. So we are looking for that relative frequency there. Converting to a percent number and rounded to one decimal place would be 11.4%. Of course, this can all be done with a graphing calculator. We would just take the uh, numbers and add them up. And then we could take the 4 and divide by 35. We could create a similar type of table. We hit stat, edit, Clear out the existing data, and then put the numbers in here. All right, then go to the next column to the right, go to the top, hit equals, and then hit second L2 divided by 35. This will take each of the numbers in the L2 column and divide by 35. So what we did in Excel. Get the same numbers. 11.4%.